Hi everyone, this is Pastor Henry of Dixon United Methodist Church, and uh, for today's reading for the devotion, we're going to be in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 7 uh, to 9, and this is what it says. Let the wicked forsake their way, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Pause the video and read the passage to yourself a few times. Then I invite you to reflect on the following question. How would you characterize God? How would you characterize God. Julian of Norwich writes this, In all my contemplation, it was necessary to see and know that we are sinners, and commit many evil deeds which we ought to forsake, and leave many good deeds undone which we ought to do, so that we deserve pain, blame, and wrath. And despite all this, I saw truly that our Lord was never angry, for I saw no wrath except on our side, and he forgives that in us, for wrath is nothing else but a perversity and an opposite to peace and to love. And it comes from a lack of power or a lack of wisdom or a lack of goodness, and lack is not in God. For we, though sin and wretchedness, have in us a wrath and a constant opposition to peace and to love. And he revealed that very often in his lovely look of compassion and pity. For me, I find uh, Julian's words challenging. As in, I, I would like to think in a sense that God can be angry. God can be angry at injustice. God can be angry at uh, oppression. God can be angry at violence. But I would also like to think that Julian is correct. Julian is correct in the sense that the anger of God revealed in Christ does not lead to violence or retribution. Instead, it leads to peace and to love. Julian offers another perspective in that what if the anger and wrath of God that we perceive or we would like carried out is not of God, but of our own anger and wrath. As the prophet Isaiah Reminds us God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Our ways are not God's ways. And it seems that humanity has a tendency to engage in violence, injustice, anger, and wrath. But we need to remember, as Julian reminds us, that God revealed in Christ calls us to something much more different than wrath and anger and violence and retribution. Instead, in, in Christ, we see a God of, of peace, a God of solidarity with the poor and the marginalized, a God who is showing us a better way, a God who forgives and wants us to come into healing and repentance and transformation. And so today, I invite you to do the following. Write about, draw, or paint, or craft, however you want to engage in it, uh, your understanding of the image of God. Draw, paint, write, or craft what you believe is the image of God. And then finally, pray for those consumed. Pray for those consumed by their own or others' anger, victims and aggressors, those caught in abusive relationships, and persons living in situations of injustice. So may you all have a blessed evening.